Okay, hi, this is Michael Ellis. Um, I'm just recording this little, uh, this cool circuit I discovered based on Nikola Tesla's uh, reading energy um, generator thing. Um, so, so this is Nikola Tesla's um, um, circuit, whatever. So it has an aerial that comes down to a capacitor, and then the other end of the capacitor is basically uh, a plate buried in the ground. And that goes to a spark gap, uh, then a transformer, and then back to the capacitor, and the load is on the other end of the transformer. So um, my circuit is a little bit different. Um, I have an aerial that goes down to a uh, variable capacitor, just an air cord one, and um, a spark plug on the other end. That goes into an ignition coil, which on the other end comes out and grounds itself into a b dead battery. So that's my circuit. Um, the output is across the um, ignition coil. Uh, that's just the um, just the energy uh, kind of readout from the um, spark plug and the the uh, radiant or the, or the uh, variable capacitor. Um, so basically, it looks like this, and I'll actually show you the readout on my oscilloscope. Um, this is radiant energy. It's just the longitudinal. Um, uh, Oscillations, whatever you want to call them. Um, so it's just all voltage. It's pure voltage spikes. It's just the spark plug going off. Well, actually, it isn't even sparking, really. It's just the um, ions going across, like the plasma or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then it's registering as little impacts, hitting the plate, um, causing a little voltage sparks. That's the cosmic energy uh, that Nikola Tesla was talking about, the cosmic rays impacting the uh, aerial. And being bounced around this little circuit and then going down into the coil and reflecting so um so that's the circuit um you can see here in real life what it actually looks like uh, basically i have resistors actually between the positive um ground um i should have actually wrote, put that on the diagram but anyways um it's this ignition coil positive side goes to the positive ground um, my oscilloscope is hooked up where you're reading at the, um, negative and then grounded to the positive. My spark gap is hooked up there, up to the, um, across the capacitor, and that goes to an aerial, which is all the way up there on the ceiling, a little flat plate. So it's getting bombarded day and night. You know, it's, the battery's dead. So basically, this is what it looks like. And, um, it's just, a, if I stop it. It's just a bunch of vertical spikes. And if I, if I space it out, it's still just a bunch of vertical spikes at a indeterminable frequency. So it's 521 hertz. Uh, it's just a bunch of spikes. It's a ton of spikes. All sorts of crazy spikes. It's insane. The wave is at 318 or er, kilohertz. Oh, there's the crazy um, FFT going nuts. Unable to determine what the heck it is. Because <laughs> it's just nuts. All sorts of spikes. As, and the, it's probably the spikes are probably resonating the capacitor and the coil, but um, yeah, so it's giving you the weird um, the weird uh, wave in there. So yeah, so that's what it, it's, it's just resonating the coil is what's happening, and you're getting the wave there. But just all sorts of crazy spikes, and it's insane. It's insane how much how many uh, how much charge and voltage is coming out of that. Just infinite spikes, energy spikes. So, um, that's all I had to show. Um, I could actually hook up the battery and show you what it's doing to the battery. This is like a dead battery, it, or it was a dead battery. Now it's like up to like 5 volts or something. Three or, Before it was like 3 volts. I don't like what it's at. Uh, what's the voltage showing? Oh, yeah, 3.84 volts, so that's a little more than it was before. Um, yeah, so it's in the... So, like, um, maybe if I put a little 
um, if I put a little circuit over to, um, whatchamacallit, uh, um, a bridge rectifier to, um, charge the battery, that might actually work. I didn't, I didn't actually try that yet. Um, yeah, if I put a bridge rectifier off of it, I could probably charge a battery with it, no problem. Um, because that's actually real uh, energy. <laughs> As opposed to all the other crap I've been working on that's just been duds. Um, so yeah, yeah, this is real, real, real power. And it's day and night, same spikes. Um, Tesla knew what the heck he was doing. He hit it in the spark gap. That's what he did. So yeah, so this is, this is real deal stuff. Um, I just modified it a little. Um, you can ground it in a battery. That's what he always said. He said, he said he uses a battery just for grounding it. So like when he had the six foot pipe in the Pierce Arrow, he was using the battery to ground the energy. He wasn't charging the battery. He was using, he was manipulating those little spikes you saw. That's static charge. If he had a capacitor or something like that, he could use that to run any motor. If he had a huge capacitor or a bunch of saltwater capacitors or something like that, uh, he could run a motor off those. You know, there's your future Tesla <laughs> design. <laughs> Air powered, just one battery, and then like a bank of motor, uh, capacitors to um, discharge into the motor to run the motor. You know, there's your solution. There's your Green New Deal, your green energy. Um, yeah, so, whatever. So, um, make of it what you will. Um, this is just my adaptation of Tesla circuit. Because, um, but, um, so yeah, so this is the Ellis version. This is the Ellis version. Um, so yeah, um, so mine just, um, it's just like a resonator circuit. So, uh, it just puts the, puts the ignition coil in resonance. Resonance, excuse me. And, um, and if you, um, if you're, like, in a, like, EMP, like, um, like, like, or a nuclear war or something, and all the cars are broken, and all the electronics are broken, you can build this with car parts, like, from a, from a destroyed car. Um, you could build this from, um, from a dead car's parts, because, you know, the ca cars all run on computers nowadays. So, like, if there's EMP, it's, the cars are going to all be toast because they're running on computers, on everything. So, um, computers and sensors and all that crap. That uh, makes them so beautiful today. <laughs> but, <laughs> but if there's, like, a nuclear war, EMP, or solar flare, everything's toast on the road. So, um, except the diesel cars, those will be chugging along. Or the, or the stuff made before, like, the 80s. So, um, yeah. All the classics and stuff is still be running along just fine. Um, so, anyway, so there's your, there's your, there's your um, nuclear bunker cir circuit, <laughs> so to speak. So, um, yeah, so you can put this in your bomb shelter and it'll just be chugging along fine. Because <laughs> yeah, this stuff, these these cosmic rays that Tesla talks about go through everything. Like uh, Colonel O'Neill said on uh, Stargate SG One. Um, Nintendos go through everything. He was talking about neutrinos, but Nintendos go through everything. That's my favorite quote of, of Stargate SG-1. Nintendos go through everything. <laughs> and if you're a 90s kid, you'll know what Nintendos are. So, um, so yeah, so there's my circuit adaptation of Nikola Tesla's uh, radiant energy machine. And uh, there you go. So thanks for watching. This is Michael Ellis.